All right. I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna need these. And I'm also gonna need that. They don't match, but who cares? I'm also gonna need some water. There you go. I might as well do a review of this. These. All right, I think I got what I need. Let's get working. All right, this banana trees in my way. We're gonna hack a little way through here and feed that to the chickens. some raking. All right, future spot for the garden. All right, so I got some landscape fabric here. You can buy this by the roll from nursery suppliers. This is not the weed blocking fabric. This is a thicker, more tarp-like material. Definitely a petroleum product. Should keep grass from coming through for many, many years, but allow the water to get down into the ground. Now these staples are quite large, and these are also from a nursery supplier. They're quite thick, quite long, I would say at least eight inches. And one of these just in case they're difficult to get in the ground. Although I got sandy soils here, probably not a problem. Cheapest place to get that would be Harbor Freight. Now I am not going to waste time cutting around this little ramp there. Just going to put this over it. And for the time being, put it over the sprinkler too and I'll come back and fix that later. Alright, now when it comes to cutting this material here, this ground cloth, nursery ground cloth, uh, I've mainly seen people use these, so I'm going to use these. I do think that a box cutter might fray it too much and then starts to come apart whereas this would make a better a better cut i guess if you will two things you're gonna need so when you get your utility torch you get a can of gas you could buy more of this i bought this one from walmart it was on sale for like 18 17 bucks at the time that i make this video and there you have it I'll put this on and I'll show you how to make a cut. There you go. So take the little cap off and this is just gonna screw on there. So there you see you got your on and off. It's on there, righty tighty, lefty loosey, and it's already got a starter, so I'm gonna try that. All right, so pretty, pretty simple. Again, you can turn on the flow of gas. You can hear it. Alright, so I've laid this out about as far as I want it. Put down some scrap 2x4 there so I could just make a cut with this going right across it. As straight and as smooth as possible. So now that is cut, it did shut off a couple times. It did not like being in that down position, so keep it, I guess, at a slight angle. But it worked, it did the job. It's not all frayed or nothing. All right, so one course laid out. I'm gonna go with about a six inch overlap and roll this baby out. There we go, <clears throat> overlap about six inches, and then about every 12 inches, I'm gonna stake it down. All right, <clears throat> laid out the second one there, every 12 inches, about to go, cut again. 
There we go, just cut this piece. I didn't even think I'd get it that even, but basically give yourself about a half inch because it's gonna shrink back as you burn it off. And look at that, match almost perfectly. Time to do it again. Got this laid out. Time for a quick snack. Everbearing bone mulberry. Delicious. Tart, sweet. Birds love it. I love it. Very nice. Mm. Just gonna sit here and graze for a minute. I'm not sure how long yet, I haven't measured. I'm gonna turn the corner there and start going that way. Then I'm gonna end up wrapping around. But that's for a different day. Pretty soon there'll be plants on here, elevated. As you can see, there's quite a bit of garbage over here already from the Moringa tree up above. There we go. Gotta get to that area next. Different day. All right, so here's the uh, water mass from one day to the next. <clears throat> that Moringa tree. Look how much stuff it drops. This is going on when I've seen better days of sour sap, but it's, um, you know, that time of year, the cold fronts do that to it. So we have my garden shed. It's gonna have all my supplies. We have out here now the uh, floor laid out, the ground cloth. Grass was mowed short, stuff uh, raked and then laid over. I did not try to smooth anything out. <clears throat> There's gonna be an entrance over here to the garden. This probably be then the sales area. It's gonna expand around the other side there. And over here extending all the way to the gate and over here make a potting bench but that would be part two stay tuned there you go thought about expanding it over here but then the jackfruit tree kind of it wouldn't be usable i don't know what do you think let me know in the comments <coughs> uh, here we go Got a big awning there to put up. That would also be part two or three. Need some dunnage racks, maybe. I got pipe laid out there for some uh, water. Also maybe a rain catchment system to come. That'd be like part 65. But that's it. My backyard nursery.